Welcome to Cemetery Views. My name is Bugs Moran. I'm used to run an outfit in Chicago. You know that whole story. But today, I am at Forest Home Cemetery right up here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I used to do a whole lot of deals up here in Milwaukee with all the beer barons that are buried here. <laughs> a lot of memories, but a lot of amazing cemetery art that you're not going to want to miss. So, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's go check some out. Well, I'm walking in the cemetery, and this is what I found. A hearse on top of a gravestone. It's not unique. Then I'm just going to shut down my channel right now. The family that owns this headstone with the hearse on top of it, they're not dead yet. They're still alive. 1985 Packard Hearse, built by the Bailiff Coach Corporation, owned by Patrick Martin. There you go, there's your explanation. It's a 1985 Hearse. And it's owned by Patrick Martin. Patrick Martin. Now, is there a Patrick Martin? There is a Patrick Martin. Uh, he's not passed away yet. And it looks to me like it's the son. It's the son that owns that hearse. Now he he's got an end of the line and he's got a caboose. So he maybe work for he works for the railroad, but he owns this really cool hearse. Alright. Let's go check out some more stuff. Look at this one. Are you ready for this? This is a this is what I call a warrior angel. Look at that guy. Big, huge head. The detail in his fingers. That is just so majestic. And so amazing. Look at that artistic tombstone here. As we walk around it. It's an angel holding... A bowl. Oh, but look at her face. See, the faces that in these angels are kind of haunting. I mean, look how realistic that face looks. It looks like she could just start talking to you. But look at this angel. This is a Chapman uh, tombstone. walking up to a very awesome uh, tombstone. Uh, this is the Paps Monument, Paps Blue Ribbon Beer. A lot of beer tycoons live, are buried here that, that had breweries here in Milwaukee, but look at that beautiful monument, that beautiful angel up there. Absolutely stunning. The artwork is what catches your eye in this one. But you could be here for days. And as I turn, I come up to this artsy looking stone. You got three artsy stones here in a row. The loving memory of Henry Clay Payne, a postmaster general of the United States. 1843 died October 1904 but look at his artsy headstone here Henry Payne beautiful there's Mr. Levy artsy and you've got the that tombstone. Look at this majestic giant of a mausoleum. This is the Blatz mausoleum. Isn't this ridiculous? Look at this ridiculous thing. What I wouldn't do to get into that thing. 
I would love to get into there. But this is just a towering, huge mausoleum. The Blatz. And you come up here, and you've got this lovely little pyramid tombstone. Harlech. It's a cool little pyramid stone. Look at this mausoleum. This is the Matthews Mausoleum, 1891. I love the eagle wings up there. The name Matthews. Very majestic cement work. Cool doors. And you got a little creek there. Beautiful bridge. As you walk through this cemetery, you could be here for days and just look at all of the unique stones that are out here. The mausoleums are ridiculous, like this one here. Look at this mausoleum. So, the mausoleums in this cemetery are crazy and these crosses huge monster crosses are also cool This uh, from S. Walter is his name. Now the urn on this stone must have kept falling off. So the urn kept falling off, so what did they do? They put an angel there, or a lady, a statue of a lady, holding the urn up. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, this is S. Walter. And then you've got the lady here. And see, she's holding up that urn. So that urn must have kept falling off. So they put the statue here. Yeah. Really gorgeous statue. Look at that statue. Look at the detail in her feet. This is S. Walter. But yeah. Looks like she's holding up that urn there. And like I said, this place is just filled with unique stones. And you got some more symbolism of plants. You know, every time you see like plants, vines, and wreaths, and stuff like that, it's usually something to do with eternity, you know. Uh, now, if you see oak leaves, that means strength and honor. But uh, these just usually mean something for eternity. But look at this stone. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone. And I hope, you know, she's going to have to hold up that urn for a long time. Luckily, it's made out of cement. That about does it right here in Forest Home Cemetery. Thank you for watching, and I will see you, oh yeah, in a couple weeks. I'm going to visit Al Capone. A little nervous about that, but I'm going to put together an episode where I visit his grave. I've been trying to avoid him, but no longer. So, look for that episode. Without any further ado, I'll see you at the next Amazing Tombstone. Thank you.